it is spooky season and uh, I'm a wedding planner. You know what that means, right? Spooky haunted wedding venues. Oh my gosh, I, I can't, I can't. <laughs> Ow, I'm just blinding myself. I, can't, I can't, did it again. I, uh, I'm going to go into haunted wedding venues today, but I think I need a new change of location. We're back and I'm now in a better location. Uh, yeah, the darkness is not good for me and how I look. <laughs> I guess no one looks good with that lighting. Anyway, my name is Katie Slaughter and I am going to tell you some haunted wedding venues today. We are gonna get into it, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be spooky, it's gonna be perfect for October, all of the vibes. Check out the link in the description below for a free wedding planning timeline and also a place to submit your story if you have a story that you want me to read on this channel. Let's get into some of those spooky stories. I looked up wedding venues in each of the 50 states. I'm covering states alphabetically from Alabama to Missouri today and uh, you should just, you know, subscribe. Subscribe if you want to see part two and you know, love on that subscribe, love on that like button, and then, you know, keep it PG for me, okay? Do you want to mention trigger warnings, mentions of death and suicide? Alabama. The Rawls Hotel in Enterprise, Alabama is considered the most haunted place in Alabama. Guests have reported hearing children's laughter and seeing the lady in red near the stairs. It's said that she was pushed from the balcony to her death. Alaska, the historic Anchorage Hotel established in 1916 is haunted by the spirit of Anchorage's first police chief, Jack Sturgis, who was shot and killed nearby. Guests have also reported seeing the apparition of a young girl in the hallways. Arizona. The Jerome Grand Hotel, originally the United Verde Hospital, built in 1927, it's known for its paranormal activity. The spirit of a maintenance worker who died in an elevator accident in the 1930s is often seen in the basement. Arkansas. The 1886 Crescent Hotel and Spa in Eureka Springs is famous for its ghostly encounters. Built in 1886, it was later used as a cancer hospital by Norman Baker in the 1930s. Guests have reported seeing a nurse pushing a gurney and the spirit of a stonemason who died during construction. California, the Queen Mary in Long Beach, launched in 1936, has a storied past with at least 49 recorded deaths. Guests have reported seeing ghostly figures, including a lady in white and an engineer who died in the ship's engine room. So it is a, it's a ship, by the way, it's, it's really cool. <laughs> Check out the picture. <laughs> Um, but yeah, 49 deaths, that would be pretty haunted. Colorado, this one's a class one. I think a lot of you might be familiar with this. The Stanley Hotel in Este Park, Colorado opened in 1909. It is famous for its paranormal activity, particularly in room 217. It is famous for its paranormal activity, particularly in room 217, where a ghastly caused an explosion in 1911, injuring chambermaid Elizabeth Wilson. Guests have reported seeing apparitions and hearing some strange noises. Connecticut. The Curtis House in Woodreed, built in 1736, is Connecticut's oldest inn. Guests have reported seeing a matronly woman in the dining room and a Confederate soldier in the liquor room. The spirit of Joseph is said to haunt the inn. We're not pronouncing this last name. That's hard. Here. Delaware. The Addy Sea in Bethany Beach, built in 1902, is known for its haunted rooms. Guests have experienced a shaking bathtub in room one, organ music in room six, and the ghost of Paul Delaney in room 11. The ghost of Kurt Addy, who fell off the roof, is said to roam the halls. Florida. The Don Cesar in, I probably mispronounced that horribly, in St. Pete Beach, completed in 1928, is haunted by its original owner, Thomas Rowe. Guests have reported seeing him in the white suit, often accompanied by a raven-haired woman believed to be his lost love, Lucinda. Georgia. The Kehoe House in Savannah, built in 1892, was once a funeral parlor. Guests have reported hearing children playing, believed to be the spirits of the Keho children who died in the house. The smell of old perfumes also lingers in the hallways. Hawaii. The Hilton Hawaiian Village in Honolulu, established in 1957, is haunted by the ghost of a woman in a red dress, believed to be the volcano goddess Pele. She has been seen wandering the halls and the beach. Idaho. The Idaho Hotel in Silver City, originally built in 1863, is known for its ghostly activity. 
guests have reported seeing the spirits of two men who died in a shootout on the hotel's front steps and a former owner who committed suicide in room 27. And just so you know, Silver City, really 100% sure, is, is one of those paper towns that it's, it's a ghost town that actually doesn't, like you can drive to it, but it's like a dirt road. I lived in Idaho. I heard about it and never had the chance to go, but I always wanted to. Illinois. The Congress Plaza Hotel in Chicago, opened in 1893, is considered the most haunted hotel in the city. Guests have reported seeing the ghost of Captain Louis Ostheim, who committed suicide at the hotel and a shadowy figure known as Peg Leg Johnny. That is a fantastic way to be remembered, Peg Leg Johnny. Indiana. The Story Inn in Nashville, Indiana, built in 1851, is known for its ghostly encounters. Guests have reported seeing the Blue Lady, believed to be the wife of Dr. George Story, who founded the town. He often appears in the Blue Lady room, leaving behind the scent of cherry tobacco. Iowa, the Velisca Axe Murder House in Velisca, built in 1868, is infamous for the 1912 axe murders of the Moore family and two guests. Visitors report seeing apparitions and hearing children's voices, making it a chilling wedding venue. Kansas, the Eldridge Hotel in Lawrence, originally built in 1855, has a haunted history linked to Colonel Shaler Eldridge. Guests have reported seeing his ghost in room 506, where the hotel's original cornerstone is located. Kentucky, not, cannot not say Kentucky like Kentucky, you know? The Seal Bach Hilton in Louisville, opened in 1905, is haunted by the lady in blue, believed to be Patricia Wilson, who died in a tragic accident in the hotel. Guests have seen her on the eighth floor and in the mezzanine. I don't know about you, Hope Paws. Don't you just love the word mezzanine? I love that word. I don't know why, I'm just, I really love the word mezzanine. I need to find more ways to use that word. Louisiana. The Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, built in 1796, is one of America's most haunted homes. It is said to be haunted by Chloe, a former slave, and the spirits of those who died there, including William Winter, who was shot on the porch in 1871. You might not want to get married there. Just, uh, just an inkling. You might not want to get married there. Maine, the Kennebunk Inn in Kennebunk. <laughs> I can't get over that word. That's a fantastic name for a town. It's established in 1799. It's haunted by Silas Perkins, a former night watchman who died of a heart attack in the inn. Guests have reported seeing his ghost and experiencing unexplained phenomena in room 17. Maryland, the Lord Baltimore Hotel in Baltimore, opened in 1928, is haunted by a young girl in a cream dress believed to have died in a fall from the 19th floor. Guests have reported seeing her playing with a red ball and hearing her cries. Massachusetts. The Hawthorne Hotel in Salem, built in 1925, is haunted by the ghost of Bridget Bishop, one of the first women executed during the Salem witch trials. Guests have reported seeing her on the sixth floor and smelling apples, a nod to her former orchard. The apples are good in Massachusetts. If you were in fall in Massachusetts, the cider. Please try some cider, okay? It's so good. It's so good in Massachusetts. Michigan! The Whitney in Detroit, built in 1894, was once the home of lumber baron David Whitney Jr. Both he and his wife died in the mansion, and their spirits are said to haunt the building. Guests have reported seeing apparitions and experiencing unexplained elevator movements. Minnesota! Glen Sheen Mansion in Duluth, built in 1908, is known for the 1977 murders of heiress Elizabeth Congdon and her nurse, Velma Pital, P P Pitilla. Pitilla? It's so much, like when you're reading these quietly, it's so much easier to pronounce it in your head <laughs> than when you're supposed to speak the words. Anyway, visitors have reported seeing apparitions and hearing unexplained noises in this mansion. Mississippi, King's Tavern in Natchez, built in 1769, is haunted by the spirit of Madeline, a young woman who was murdered and hidden in the chimney. Guests have reported seeing her apparition and hearing her cries. In Missouri, the Lemp Mansion in St. Louis, built in 1860s, is haunted by the Lemp family, who experienced multiple suicides and tragedies. Guests have reported seeing apparitions and hearing unexplained noises throughout the mansion. Yikes. So there's a lot of trends here. Um, I've noticed that a lot of them are hotels. And one plantation, which is like, don't, just don't get married there. Just, just don't, don't do it. I don't care how beautiful it is. Don't, don't, 
stop. If you liked this content and you want to hear part two in the other states, then hit that notification bell after you hit subscribe, of course, and uh, yeah, tag along for the ride. <laughs>